today I'm doing an experiment to try and uh, see how much cooling power this actually has. Um, so it's at 13 degrees C on the cold side just now um, and I started this up at 6 o'clock exactly, um, 6 p.m. And the uh, hot side will get hotter obviously but um, I'm more interested to see how long it's going to take to cool down and then I'll be able to uh, do a lot of calculations with the aid of online calculators to find out uh, how much heat it did move and uh, the heating power or cooling power. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is it's 16 litres of water there. At least go and buy the markings on the bucket, and uh, I think there's a bit, there's just a bit less than 12 in here. And I've noticed that it seems to shake around a little bit, but I'd imagine so with all the refrigerant flowing through. And uh, under the water, the top of the uh, evaporator still does freeze up. Seven minutes in and from 13 degrees we're now down to 11 degrees. But bear in mind it is a quite a lot of water there. And obviously the pumps are just there to keep the water circulating quite well because if I don't have the water circulating um, on the cold side it just turns into a lump of ice and if I don't circulate on the hot side then well it just doesn't cool as well so in 42 minutes the water is now down to 1 degree celsius and the compressor is roasting so I'll go in and do some calculations can't see that well but it's like the the whole thing is actually covered in ice. Uh, whole coil. Uh, yeah, and the line coming up back to the compressor has got some ice on it. So here are the results. Uh, the mass of the water. Um, 16 kilograms, 16 litres. Um, temperature change was 12 degrees Celsius. And this was the answer I was given here, and that's a specific heat capacity of water. And in joules to water, that is 222.98 watt hours of heat that was moved from the bucket of water um, in 42 minutes, which uh, isn't brilliant, and I think that works out to about 156 watts on average. Um, which is a lot less than uh, what I had designed it for, but that is probably because it's the wrong refrigerant um, R290 and a 134A compressor. So, um, there's LVP 50 hertz, this one here, that I designed it around. It's supposed to move about 506 watts, so there's clearly something not right there. 